when Chapman bullies leave the street, and Ruthie neighbours neighbours meet. As market days are wearing late, and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and unca happy, we think not on the long Scots miles, the mosses, waters, slaps and stiles that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth fand honest Tom O'Shanter, as he frae air ye necht did canter, old air whom ne'er a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, Tom, hadst thou but been sae wise as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee weel there was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum that frae November till October ye merkit day there was nae sober, that ilka melder with a miller thou sat as lang as thou had cellar, that every nag was caught a shoe on, the smith and thee got roaring foo on, that at the Lord's house even on Sunday thou drank wi' Kurt and Jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drooned in Doon, or catched wi' warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think who money counsel sweet, who money lengthened sage advices, the husband frae the wife despises. But to your tale, ye merk it nacht, Tam had got planted anchorecht fast by an ingle, bleasin' finely, wi' reamin swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow shooter Johnny, his ancient trusty Druthy Crony. Tam looed him like a very brother, they had been foo for weeks together. The neck drave on wi' songs and clatter, and I the ale was growin' better, the landlady and Tam grew gracious, wi' secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without macht rare and rustle, Tam didna mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man say happy, in drooned himself among the nappy, as bees flee home with lades of treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the borealis race that flit ere you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form evanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time or tide. The hour approaches. Tam mun ride. That hour and next black erts the keystain. That dreary hour Tam mounts his beast in, and sick and next he tacks the road in, as near pear sinner was a broadin. The wind. Blew as to had blown its last. The rattling showers rose on the blast. The speedy gleams the darkness swallowed. Loud, deep, and long the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare, Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tom scalped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whiles hudden fast his good blue bonnet, whiles crooning o'er an old Scot sonnet, whiles glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken cheerly brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters found the murdered bairn, and near the thorn up in the well, where Mungo's mother hanged herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods, the Dublin storm roars through the woods, the lichtnings flash frae pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, when, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a bleeze, through Ilka Boar the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. 
Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst mark a scorn. With Tippany we fear nae evil, with Uski Bay we'll face the devil. The swart sea reamed in Tommy's noddle, fair play he carna deals a bottle. But Maggie stood, rushed sair astonished, till, by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the left, and wow, Tom saw. An anchor sect. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, cotillon brent new frae France, but hornpipes, jigs, through spies and reels, but life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east there sat old Nick in shape of beast. A towsy tyke, black, grim, and lairds to gie the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirl till roof and rafters aw did dirl. Coffin stood round like open presses that showed the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and gibbet airns, twa span lang wee and christened bairns, a thief new cutted frae a rape, wee's last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks with blood reed rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a feather's throat had mangled, whom his ain son life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft, with mare of horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. As Tommy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious, the piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Alka, Carl and Swat and Reek it, and coost her daddies to the work, and link it at it in her sark. No Tam, o Tam, had they been queens, all plump and strappin' in their teens, their sarks, instead of creasy flannin', been snow-white seventeen hundred linen, their breeks o' mine, my only pair, that yance were plush, o' get blue hair, I would a gain them off my hardies, for ye blink o' the bonny birdies. But withered bell dams, old and droll, Rigwoody hags would spin a fall, loopin' and flingin' on a crummock, I wonder did not turn her stomach. But Tom Kent, what was what, foo brawly? There was ye winsome wench and wally, that knacked and listed in the core, long after kenned on Carrick shore, for mony a beast to deed she shot, and perished mony a bony boat, and shook baith meekel corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark o' paisley harn that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude though sorely scanty, it was her best and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny with twa pund scots, twas o' her riches, would ever graced a dance o' witches. But here my muse her wingman coor, sick flechts are far beyond her poor, to sing who nanny lap and flang, a supple jod she wasn't strang, and who tam stead. Like yin bewitched, and thought his very een enriched, even Satan glowered and fidged foo fain, and hotched, and blew wi' micht and main, till first ye caper sign another, Tom, tint his reason all together, and roars out, Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when oot the hellish legion sallied, as bees buzz out wi' angry fike when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussies mortal foes when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, when mony an eldritch screech and hollow, Ah, Tom, ah, Tom, thou'lt get thy fairn, in hell the roasty like a heron, in vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate's son will be a woe for woman, no, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystone of the brig. There, at them thou thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare not cross. But ere the keystone she could make, the fainter tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little wished she Maggie's mettle, ye spring brought off her master hail. But left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin clothed her by the rump, and left peer muggy scarce a stump. 
Nu, wo this tale of truth shall read. Elk man and mother son took heed. When e'er to drink ye are inclined. Or cutty sarks run in your mind? Think. Ye may buy the joys our dear. Remember, Tom O'Shanter's mere.